Firefighters can work fast as long as they have hydrants, but that's not always the case in rural areas. Well, the city of Lincoln's recent annexation led to new policies and procedures because the land doesn't have any hydrants. KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely takes us inside the training in a story you'll see only on 7. It's a picturesque night in rural Lancaster County, a red barn just in view. Suddenly, Lincoln Fire and Rescue is called to something crews are all familiar with. A neighbor reports smoke showing from a structure towards the back of the acreage. But with a situational issue, they're not too used to. They'll need help to fight this fire. And we'll put that piece of the puzzle together, which will be nothing more than a piece of hose out at the end of a driveway. And we're gonna count on our rural partners to come in and do what they do best, which is bring water with them. Lincoln's recent land annexation means these crews may be asked to respond to areas without water beyond what their engines can carry, around 500 gallons. This training puts their new procedure into practice for areas with low water supply. Lancaster County has no hydrants in the rural. So all the water that we have has to come from one of the towns. Relying on rural volunteer fire departments, pumper and tanker trucks carrying several thousand gallons of water. Right now, this is the only water source we have. Those departments are perfecting their skills with hands-on training to learn how their equipment works with city trucks and what to expect. We're going to pump water up to their engines. We're going to set up one or two dump tanks where we can come by with our tankers, keep dumping water, go get more water to keep them supplied so they can keep fighting the fire. This is a simulation, but each crew member treats it as if it's real, and that's because it could be. This can be a life or death situation. And it has been. Last October, all of these departments came together to battle a massive wildfire with high winds and water sources miles away. Trainings like these improve their skills and their relationship. Any type of training that we do like this puts names with faces. Uh, so when that disaster hits or something really, really wrong goes on, we, we at least know who we're dealing with and we kind of know each other. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.